Oh man, I told you, I'm not throwing anything else today. <laughs> it's too much fun getting these blow-ups. Exactly. Like. Not long ago, I decided to ditch the corporate grind to pursue my passions for traveling and the great outdoors. So I sold everything, moved into a trailer full time, and now I'm fishing my way across the entire country. There you go, fish out. Look at that. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. That was insane. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Field Trips. So I just pulled into my new home for the week here in Ocala, Florida. I'm staying with a good buddy of mine, Darren O'Brien and his wife, Jody. I met Darren at an extreme kayak fishing tournament a couple years ago. He's a brand ambassador for Wilderness Systems, a great writer, great photographer, and just a great guy. Uh, him and his wife, Jody, have agreed to let me park my trailer here on their property. They've got about three acres here in Ocala. Uh, super excited for the week. We're gonna be doing some red fishing and I actually haven't even like gotten unpacked and unloaded and set up yet, but first things first, these guys have their priority in line. We're gonna go do some bass fishing. So come on for the ride. We're gonna head to Lake Norris. It's supposed to be absolutely beautiful. See if we can't get on some top water bass today. We're on Lake Norris. It looks killer. We're gonna be doing a little bass fishing. So we've got cypress trees in here that are 3,500 years old, 118 feet high. That's crazy. It's gonna be a cool trip. Morning, Darren O'Brien with Irish Seduction Fishing. We're out here today on Lake Morris with Robert Field and my wonderful wife Jody. Uh, heading out the creek, we'll film some of that, and we'll uh, catch up with you all later. Out here for some big bass. What a cool environment. Uh, they call this kind of black water. It's basically tannic from all the vegetation that dies in it. I mean, this is just kind of an ancient waterway, ancient trees said 3,500 years old, some of these cypress trees. This is just kind of, I think, what a lot of people think of when they think of kind of interior Florida, sort of swampy cypress, gators and snakes. This is easily one of the prettier places I've paddled. Basically had this like half mile long creek. We just got the end of it. Now I can see the open lake right in front of us. And that's where we'll start fishing. Look at that. use the pedal drive today on the wilderness systems radar i'm in the radar 135 I'm, I'm thinking i'll be able to pedal for most of this but we'll see there's all these cypress trees stumps in the water so i'm gonna have to be kind of careful but at least out in this open water fishing the edges of these cypress i should be able to pedal for most of it all right so there's a variety of baits i like to throw for bass in this kind of water this kind of black water here in florida uh, right now i'm starting off with a black and blue swim jig that way I can kind of both bounce it, hop it off the bottom, imitate a crawl. I can also swim it, imitate a bait fish. So with one bait, I can kind of give it different presentations, figure out what these fish are chasing. Uh, then I've got a little live target bluegill swim bait, super realistic. Uh, the bass in here have to be feeding on bluegill. And then I've got like a simple shaky head set up, a little crawl, a little worm on it. And then I've also got a little secret bait that Darren here has, has showed me, he swears by. And I'll show you guys that if I catch a fish on it. Darren says there's no chance I'm not going to catch a fish on it, but, you know, we'll see. Basically, you know, there's a bunch of grass, ton of lily pads. I mean, anyone that likes to throw a topwater frog, this is a killer body of water. There's lily pads everywhere. Um, so I'll be targeting basically these cypress roots, provides great structure, you know, they go down into the water. Um, they got little holes and ins and outs. The bass right. definitely be using those, those trunks as structure. And then obviously focusing on these lily pads, this grass. And once we get a couple bites, kind of start figuring out what these bass are relating to. You know, typically on any given day, either all the bass are gonna be hanging around the cypress stumps, all the bass will be hanging the lily pads, you know, kind of figure out what the pattern is, figure out what they're doing today. See if we can't get some bites, turn them into a few fish in the boat. Oh. 
Fish. Fish on. It's a bass. It's a bass. Oh man, too much fun right now. Decent little fish. Yeah, buddy. Two, three pounds? Yeah, man. Really dark fish. You can tell it's four to strain largemouth. I mean, like almost black on top. And I caught this on what I alluded to earlier. Darren's uh, secret magic uh, unstoppable bait. This is a it's Strike King, right? Strike King Rage Tail Craw, but we're not fishing it like a craw. Got it on a simple worm hook, weightless, and we're pitching this out at the stumps, at the lily pads, and basically retrieving it fast enough that it's staying on the surface, and these two claws act like, just like a topwater frog, they act like legs, gives it a nice vibration, nice little propeller action across the surface, and he promised me these bass and these bowfin would hit it. I've already had about four swirls on it, and sure enough, I've been throwing it for about maybe five minutes. Just sucked my first large mouth here in Lake Norris. Oh, what a blast. It, that, dude, it startled me. Like, it hit so close to the boat, I like jumped. Oh man, that is fun. Yeah, I'm gonna be throwing this the rest of the day. Color me convinced, Darren. <laughs> oh man, too much fun. All right, let this little guy go. See if we can't find some more. There he goes, nice. Rage tail, man. I told you, I'm not throwing anything else today. <laughs> Got me. You convinced me. It's too much fun getting these blow-ups. Exactly. Like, I wouldn't even, even if I thought something else would catch more bass, there's, you can't compare to that. Another little bass right there. Not quite as big as the first one, but decent little guy. Maybe two pounds. Two and a half pounds, maybe. Too much fun. Let this guy go. shower to send me off oh yeah yeah it's uh this works dude <laughs> i've been doing it for six years man. yeah dude, i'm about to be doing it for the rest of my life all right so i got those two bass pretty early on that rage tail. Then we noticed we stopped getting hits. And the only thing we could see that changed is that the wind changed direction and was blowing into that bank. And so where before it was glass calm, really lets that, that top water you know, stand out. All of a sudden the surface was rippled and we stopped getting hits. So right now we're crossing the lake, the main lake, heading over to the wind protected side to get back on that calm water. <clears throat> See if we can't get back on these bites because we were on a really consistent bite darren's missed like four or five fish i missed four or five and then stuck those two so when it was calm we were getting hit left and right so we're gonna go over here where it's calm see if we can't get back on that pattern a bass <laughs> I thought I saw it I thought it was a bowfin nice <laughs> again four to strain you can really tell they're so dark uh, but oh my gosh I, I tell you what it, <laughs> it is so much fun watching these things annihilate this rage tail craw this is the uh, I think it's June bug is the color yeah I think so it's kind of a purple, got some green flake in it, uh, which is actually one of my go-to colors. Also on a different crawl in this same color for this kind of water, this kind of dark tannic, you know, black water as they call it. But uh, yeah, the bass are loving it. Now we're seeing bowfin roll and I'd really like to catch a bowfin. I've never caught one before, but uh, you know, if I keep catching bass like that, you won't hear any complaints from me. Too much fun. Let this guy go. Okay. Our 
our, uh, our, our daughter-in-law and granddaughter were in a car accident. Oh, sh are they are they okay? I don't know. I don't think that there's no fatalities. They ended up in a high. The car was totaled. That's all I know at the moment. Oh my God. Yeah. All right. Let's go. All right, we just got some news. We got to cut this day short. Uh, their daughter-in-law and her granddaughter uh, just got in a car accident. And so they don't really know what's going on, but the car is totaled, they're in the hospital. So uh, we got to go, call it call it a day. Uh, cut it a little short, but super fun day, exploring an extremely cool environment, extremely cool new fishery to me. Trying out some new baits. This rage tail topwater weightless craw will be a new staple of mine especially in any environment where there's top water and grass, stuff like that. So um, super fun day. I will definitely be coming back to Lake North. This place is sweet. Close quarters. 